There's a dog barking. I'm waiting. What is up guys, it's Simon from PianoPig.com and in this video I wanted to talk about a really cool piece of kit I've been using over the last month or so. It's called the Guido and it's basically a digital music score reader and it can actually read any type of PDF file so if you wanted to get creative with it you could use it for all sorts of things. So for all you guys who are trying to constantly sort through that music and sheet music you have you can literally just get rid of that and get this Guido and have all your music within that. So over the last month or so I've actually been trying to transition from like all of my music onto this device and it's just so much easier because you can just organize it really easily, search through it and yeah you're just not going to lose all your stuff basically. It's just a really neat useful bit of kit. I mean here it is, you can see how just nice it looks. And you can see all my jazz standards I've got listed up there and you can sort through it here. And what I really like about it, if you open up like something with lots of pages, here's a classical piece. The way you turn the pages, you like wave your hand over there and you know you can make notes and you can do all sorts of cool stuff. And you know if I go into a jazz standard that's summertime, like just look at the quality of it. I mean it's just so... <laughs> So easy to read, so easy to see, but I'll give you a proper walkthrough. So as I'm sure you can guess, this is a sponsored video, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it is a really, really cool and useful bit of kit. So let me give you a proper walkthrough and I'll show you all the cool stuff it does. So there's no denying, it's a really nice looking thing. And if we take a look inside, we've got two pages. On the right, we've got all our sheet music and charts, and on the other page, we can sort through all our music by recently added artists, composers. You can also create set lists to group certain music together. If I open up this little jazz chart set list I made, you can see all the songs open here. And you can also just search for any sheet music on the device. Let's go for something we all know, uh, Autumn Leaves. There we go. So it looks pretty good. It's the same ink technology Kindles use, so there's no light emitted and it's very easy on the eyes. One of my favourite things about the Guido is that it comes with a pen, which you can use to make notes. It's really slick and also has a rubber on the other end. So when I pull up a jazz standard like we just did, since this one only has one page, it means I have this whole other side to make notes. So I could write the chords with some other possibilities and then some scales I could use to solo with or anything you want really. And what's really good is that if I go back to the home screen or even turn off the device and turn it back on and then reload the jazz standard, it actually saves all the notes you make. So that can be really helpful. I'm always making notes on paper and then lose them and then forget what I wrote. So this is quite a handy solution to that. Another thing you can do here is use the rubber on the pen, as I mentioned earlier, and you can just rub stuff out, which is pretty cool. And you can also go into here and choose all sorts of options here with the pen and note display and stuff. And also, not that I play it that often, but if you were to open up a classical piece of music with several pages, uh, here's one. What's really good about this device is how you turn the pages. They've got these little sensors on the sides and you can literally just wave your hand above it. You don't even need to touch it or anything. But what's even better than that is the foot switch. It actually comes with a Bluetooth foot switch which allows you to turn the pages using your feet. This is really cool and I think you can actually set the pedals to do whatever you want. I can imagine this would be the most useful thing ever if you were a classical concert pianist with tons of music. To import new music onto the device is really easy. You basically do it all on your computer and you can either upload any PDF file or download any sheet music from the Guido store which integrates really well with the device. And then you can just open this up and click download from my transfer list and it does it all through Wi-Fi and it's really quick and easy. One downside about the device is it's not actually that quick. 
If we just open up uh, Days of Wine and Roses, you see that, although it loaded within a couple of seconds, comparing that to what's standard and possible with modern technology, that is comparatively quite slow, but they are constantly adding updates to it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it speeds up with time. So I think overall, you know, it, it's obviously a really nice piece of kit, but I think the price is at a very, very high price range, and yeah, the company actually gave, gave this to me to make this review, so I haven't bought this myself, just to make that clear. But it's a very, very high price range. I think if you're in the UK, it's about £1,500. And I don't know if I could personally justify spending that amount of money on this, but you know, you could buy a, an iPad for, for cheaper than that, which I feel would do a very similar job. But if money was no object, and just looking at this as, as it is, without any price label, it is a really, really nice piece of kit, which I can see so many uses for lots of different people. And especially, you know, classical pianists who are going out doing concerts regularly, that are pulling around loads of music with them. This is just the obvious solution to that, to be honest. And I've, I've really noticed a, you know, an improvement trying to transition all my jazz standards onto there. It's just so much easier, and I'm always up for keeping things simple and having as less items as possible. So, it's a really good piece of kit, and yeah, if money's no object, I'd say go for it. And I think it's just going to get better and better as they develop the technology. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And you know, if you want, if you do want to go and get one, it's called Guido, but it's spelt. I'll write it on the screen. <laughs> spelt like a Gavido, Javido. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you can go check out their website, see what other products they've got. I think they've got some cases and the foot switch and the pens. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in another video.